Blue Period is an anime where high schooler Yatora suddenly decides to pursue art. I instantly fell in love with the show from the very first episode because I was an art major, I was a graphic design major, and everything about this show really spoke to my soul. Today I'm going to explain a little bit about the show, talk a little bit about what I love about it, but as always before we begin make sure you grab your cup because it's time to spill the anime tea. There are many things that make Blue Period great, like just so many, but I broke down a few of them that really stuck out to me. The first thing is the relatable, attainable goals. Every person has a goal that they want to attain. In this story, Yatora wants to try to get into the one art school that he can apply to. On top of that, Yatora is a complete beginner, starting later in life than a lot of his other peers who have been doing art since they were younger. When you want to do art, but you're like in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and you're like, I can't do art anymore, I'm not young, it's gonna take me forever to catch up. That's what everyone tells themselves. But this reminds us, you can start doing art, you can start doing any craft at any age, and it's okay. On top of that, I love the passionate, emotional characters. I love a, an anime that's like a slice of life, but the characters are very enthralled in whatever they are doing. Yatora is so deeply in love with oil painting, and he falls so quickly in love with oil painting. And not just Yatora is really passionate about it. We can see each of the passions and expressions of the characters as they're doing art, as they're creating art, as they're struggling to come up with something worthy of turning in for an exam, for example, or just finding their own style and process as they make art. I often joke that Blue Period is basically a sports anime, a sports anime about art, <laughs> because you know we have that eccentric, overly enthusiastic main character who's trying to just be the best in whatever they are trying to be the best in craft, in this case that they're trying to get into. We even have rivals. There was a rival revealed in one of the episodes recently. On top of that, the mentor characters, the teachers in the show are fantastic. I love that they're women. I love that the main art teacher that runs the club at the school is, has helped like a Yatora get into art even more. Every basic thing about art that you need to know, Yatora learned from the teacher who teaches the art club. I love that she's an, also an older character. She just kind of casually helps Yatora along the way. And then the prep teacher that uh, Yatora ends up going to in the prep school ends up being a little bit harder on them, but she still does it in a way that doesn't feel overbearing and like suffocating. She's very just open and honest about it. And she just has a really bright, honest personality that brings out the best in the students. And they honestly reminded me of some teachers that I had when I was in school when I was in college and doing like more art stuff. So that's what I loved about it the most. It just reminded me of the good and terrible days of going through classes and design classes and stuff. On top of all of that, of course, is the amazing artwork that gets showcased in the anime and in the manga as well. I'm mostly gonna be talking about the anime because I haven't read the manga. I've just seen a few screenshots of it. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the creator of Blue Period, the mangaka behind it, and how she got some of those artworks into the manga and into the anime eventually. There's so many different kinds of artworks that they have to showcase because there's not only Yatora's artworks, which vary depending on his skill as well as what he's trying to portray um, and his expressions and all that, but also there's artwork that is done by all the other students in like the prep schools and the artworks that are done by the students in the art club. That first painting that we see, the first painting that Yatora sees is just gorgeous. I love the color of it. I've seen the manga version, but the anime version is just fantastic because that color is just beautiful. Chef's kiss, it's so vibrant. I love the way they make the art look in the anime. It looks like they just put the actual art piece in the anime and it's great. <laughs> like I'm glad they don't like try to change it or they didn't try to just make it for that scene in the anime that's already made by other people. Hold up, we can't continue without first making sure you like this video. If you're enjoying it so far, let's talk about a little history behind the creation of Blue Period. So the creator behind Blue Period, the mangaka for it, is Tsubasa Yamaguchi. She often is depicted wearing a frog mask. She's actually only known for one other manga artwork that's more notable, which is the manga version of She and Her Cat, which was originally a movie by Makoto Shinkai. Yamaguchi Sensei started Blue Period back in 2017. There are 11 volumes out so far. What I found super interesting about Yamaguchi Sensei and what her inspirations are and were for the series, uh, Yamaguchi Sensei herself went to art school and she majored in oil painting as well, but ultimately chose to stick with making manga instead. 
which we are grateful for because now she has the experience of going to art school and she's able to put that into her work. Through various interviews that I looked up of her, I learned that she actually gets people to paint the uh, specific paintings that are showcased throughout Blue Period. Yamaguchi Sensei expressed that she wanted to dive into the economics of the art world and the intricacies of getting into art as a career, but she also wanted to show someone who started with art as a beginner. So that's why we start with Yatora in high school, seeing the, his senpai's painting for the first time and then being drawn into that world. In a quote from Yamaguchi Sensei herself, she says, I think that there are many genius heroes who say I can't do anything, but I can only do art. So on the contrary, I decided to make a manga that challenges things that a person who can do anything cannot do, and decided to make a type of person who is far from the general image of art as the main character. I really resonated with this, and this is something that I noticed uh, from the very first episode of Blue Period, is that Yatora is not good at making art. Like, he sucks at it, and he, it takes him a lot of time to try to get better, and he does a lot of hard work to get better. In a lot of anime, especially a lot of shonen, kind of seinen anime, the main characters are often opposite. They're usually terrible at everything else in life, but really, really good at making or doing uh, a certain thing when they're thrown into that situation. Like, you know, that's why we, that's how we get like overpowered characters in action anime and how we get overpowered characters in sports anime as well. But Yatora is not that. He's actually good at everything else in life. He's good at having friends. He's good at like going with the flow and not like causing too much of a ruckus and, you know, the grades and everything are easy for him. But when it comes to art, he really has to sit down, practice and struggle and go through all of the like turmoils of being an artist. It's all, it's honestly very, like refreshing to see a character who has to sit down and really work hard to get good at what he wants to get good at. Man, that one scene when he asks the teacher if he can have like 10 more assignments over a break, like my, I know that one of my college teachers would have been so proud of him. <laughs> to see like someone who's like oh you want more work okay i can i can assign you more work he cries and he like struggles because he wants to be good he goes through imposter syndrome he goes through comparing himself to other artists who have been doing things longer or people who just have a more natural knack for composition and things that he struggles to learn along the way basically just like many other anime blue period reminds us that goals are always achievable as long as there's someone there to support you and as long as you believe in yourself and are willing to do the hard work necessary to get where you need to go but what makes it stand out particularly is the fact that it has a really realistic approach to accomplishing goals and facing setbacks. Honestly, reminding us of slice of life moments in some of our favorite sports anime or drama based series that really cement their relatability and their importance to the audience who is able to relate to them. I will leave you guys with a quote that inspired the name for Blue Period. No matter how passionate you were, no matter how much your blood boiled, I believe youth is a blue time. Blue, that distinct blue that paints the town moments before the sun rises. Winter is coming. If you want to know more about Netflix's other stellar anime, for example, Komi Can't Communicate, I made a whole other video about that. That's pretty awesome. You can check that out over here. Thank you so much for watching the Anime Tea. My name is Phoenix, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.